Joe Clyda, AscensionPathway.com for the Evan Fane YouTube channel. And this is what I want to show you. I'm on my base in Michigan on the deck. You can see the blue sky. If you can think it's blue. It's, but as I pan here, there's no action in the sky. This is the best day Michigan has seen. But got a white sun. And it was haze last night. And I didn't get any documentation because I'm sure I'm going to be here for a bit. And I'm going to get a lot of documentation. But so far, I only saw one jet. Looked like a red tail, but didn't have my camera with me. Well, look what we got in the skies on Sunday afternoon. Wow, look at the plume out of that guy. It has to be a red tail or a tanker. See the unsymmetrical plume where you got the two lines and then the one? Yep. That's right, buddy boy. It's no freaking contrail. You might think it is. It ain't. Look at that plume. These are the kind that give you headaches, so ask around. You'll see a lot of people getting a lot of headaches as of late. Good morning, people of Michigan. Northern Michigan. Blue sky. Somewhat blue. Not the real blue, but at least it's blue. Nothing in the works in the sky today. Northern sector. So I pan into that western sector. And that southern sector. And the eastern sector. The sun's starting to come up. About 8.30. Haven't got to the weather report yet. Well, it's a little after 1 o'clock here in Michigan, and we got somebody right there spilling some plume, making a nice rail. Look at the size of his rail. All the way across is they're going to, he looks like he's on the downward slide, but that rail goes all the way in there. And then just below that, another guy snuck in there with his rail there. So we got double rails going. The only thing in the sky that I see so far you can see the nasty plume that that guy has left. Oh my gosh. It just never stops no matter where you go. Alright, here's the AccuWeather forecast. You can see the time there. That's Eastern Daylight Time. So do the math to correspond to your state time zone. Right now I am sitting in Michigan. That's northern portion. And you can see no chemtrail activity except for the guy I just shot right now a couple of rails but uh, at least that upper part is not getting it here's the part that's getting sprayed real heavily look at those poor guys that whole Midwest the whole eastern section of the United States being chemtrailed my friends back in uh, Arizona getting chemtrailed a little bit I see but uh, all in all you can see what's going on. Texas hit real hard. They're making it rain down there. You can see that. That's all done by design. Uh, once people wake up to the fact that uh, our weather is man-made and that the government already has a document stating that they want to control the weather by 2025. This is already in the works. So people need to be aware of this and start making their voice heard. Here's that plume that just blew over, sitting right on top of me now. We back it off. Sun, white, should be yellow. I already know this. You can see how fast this stuff is dispersing. Wow. Interesting. And it's low too, it's real low. My God. Well, I am sitting downtown Petoskey, Michigan. That's in northern Michigan. And you saw the weather report. But well, we got chemtrail activity. We got a nice rail going over there. We got a little bit of the grid going. It's been coming up from the south because the south portion of the state has been hit. You can check the act weather. I don't have that horizon to horizon view right now, but as you can look up, you can see the wisps all the way in the sky. See that as I pan into that western sky, you can see all the wisps. 
possibly some fin to work back in there too. I don't know if you see that or not. Sun's directly in my eyes. But there you can see what's going on here. I want to show you what's transpired. I don't have a real nice view here, but you can see the chemtrail wisps. And trust me on this, it goes all the way back to the horizon. They've got it already spread out into a fine little shield. Yep, that's what they did. Well, good morning, everybody. Joe Clyde, AscensionPathway.com on the Evan Fane YouTube channel. This is Wednesday, April 15th, about quarter to 12 in the morning. And I just want to show you that southern sky. And you can see already the rails that have been built all the way down. You can see it. Look at the spin work and wisps up in here. See how they just whisked it away. I don't have the weather report yet, but when I get home, I'm going to get it on and see what's going on. But you can see the different layers. There's one, two, I mean, you can see what they're doing. Just enough to make you think that these are real clouds. Way back in that southern horizon, you see what I see. Same old shit, doesn't matter what state you're in. So I pan over here, you can really see the fin work heading into that western sky. Look at that beautiful fin work they laid down. Isn't that something? And that northern sky, pretty blue. Gray blue. Okay. Sun, still white, should be yellow. There's that eastern horizon. Looks pretty good so far. Something else here, too, I noticed is there are a lot of frequencies coming out of this cell tower right here. Okay. A lot of frequencies. And they're piggybacking, let me show you. They're piggybacking the signal off that antenna up in there. See what they're doing? Yeah. And there's more, and I'm gonna get to that later. Looks like we got a little action. There we go. In that southern sky. See, it doesn't matter what state you're in, they're constantly getting us. Here you can see about an hour later, you can see the fend work as the wisp has been laid out from the chemtrails. See that in there? You can see it. Oh, it's all laden real nice and nice wisps, so people don't really have a clue. And look at over here as I pan into that western sky. There's almost, the grid is almost complete back in there. See all that in there? Just look at the color of the blue. It's just not blue anymore. Something else uh, to take note of, and I'm gonna be getting into this real soon here, is what is an antenna doing on top of that cross? Uh-huh, uh-huh. We'll get back on that. Wouldn't you know it, there's already somebody spraying. They try to lace that grid in the background there. You see that? See, he's just trying to add more plume. So it's not too hazy, so it doesn't really, you don't pay any attention to it. Yeah, about 10 minutes later, look what this guy has left. Right over in our northern sky. Let me back it off so you can get a little good look. And there he is. Looks like a silver bullet. And into the trees. Nasty. Just no escape. Just no escape. Just look what this guy did. So he panned back. He left this mess. 
okay? To kind of coincide with this hazy mess here. See how what he did? See that? Just to try to elongate this mess even further out this way. That's the intention there. Extend the grid work. All right, we're back on that plume again. For those Michiganders who don't think that their weather is fake either, just look at this. Okay, you can see the white soot already dissipating out of those cloudoids from the jet stream. See that? And it's going to form into a big mess like this. See how they've done that? And it's people are going to come outside and go, oh, well, it's partly cloudy. No, that is not. Okay, just to show you how that is dispersing. Well, it's getting a little late, as you can see on the clock in that left-hand corner. You can do the math for the time zone in your area. That's Eastern Daylight Time. Let me show you what's going on. Most stomping grounds cotton with Arizona, where the blue dot is. Look at that. Hardly any chemtrail. Little bit, still a little bit there in New Mexico. Okay. But getting hit hard are those states right there. Those guys are getting chemtrailed to death. Trust me on this. I'm sitting in Michigan up in here. You can see, got a couple of whiffs there, as I should document. They're still spraying a little bit. They just don't want you to have a clear, clear blue sky day ever again. Texas, a little bit in that southern area. Up the eastern coast, getting hit a lot. But there you can see wherever there's white and gray, that's the chemtrail areas. My buddy the dove is back. See him? All the way from New Mexico back to Michigan. Nah. But I do have doves here. And there's their little watering spot. I give them water every day. And they're glad that I'm back. It's getting close to 6 o'clock and I got to show you this. Check out in this horizon. You can see the chemtrail blast. You can see the wisp already starting from that bottom chemtrail. See that? See the light bulb look? Rotted teeth, festinal villi, centipede, whatever you want to call it. How the one trail always does this, the other side doesn't. So something to think about you people, the disbelievers. Up here you can see how the trails have already wisped into the wisp-like effect. Come on, clouds have never done this when I was a little kid. Look at this finned work up in here. You can see how they got it all finned out real nice. Isn't that beautiful finned work? <laughs> yeah, right. Anyway, just wanted to show you that. So I pan back in here. You can see this bomb way in the back. See how this guy railed it right across. Okay, they're getting it ready for tomorrow. Anyway, a little early. We'll have to go back on the AccuWeather weather report and see. But you can see how they get that shield to be blocked. Then all that soot falls in over the lake to block that northern Michigan sunset just about every night. We're going to document that all summer long. All right, it is Wednesday evening. I'm not even sure what time it is. After 7 o'clock. Look at the chemtrail rails. They're all there. Check out the color on the bottom. See, it's the same effect. They block it. They block the sunset every night. You can see the soot starting to fall. Look at underneath there, you can see the soot. It's getting ready to fall. It's not real thick, but you can see if they sprayed heavy what would happen. Back over here, you can see, and I'm only showing you the small part of the sky too, mind you. Check it out. You can see how they built that shield way in the back. Look at the chemtrail lines everywhere. These are already darkened. You can see the soot already starting to fall. Look at that rail over there. Look how thick that was. Look how you could tell how low it is too. Let me back it off. Check out the color. Uh-huh. We know there's only one reason that those 
That stuff turns that color. I ain't even gonna go into it tonight. You can see what's happening. The soot's starting to fall. It's already starting to turn gray. So anyway, this is all. Oh, look at the fin work back in there. Eh, not real good fin work. Well, you can see how it's all. The soot's already starting to fall. And right over that, right over here. This bunch right here, when that falls on whoever that's going to fall on, it's real thick. Right now it looks like it's over the water, but could end up on somebody. Good luck. Good luck.